Hello, Dan Housen here. Dan Housen here to let you know that you are watching Dre41 Gaming. They do video games of some sort. Who knows? Dan Housen doesn't. But they are very nice, very evil. Do time. And if you do not watch this channel, you shall rue the day. I have another big opportunity for you to generate some buzz in a different part of the world. I'm gonna have to start paying you commission. What are you thinking? 25%, 30, or maybe 20% plus a cut of all future royalties? <laughs> I was kidding. Right. Me too. Anyway, I could get you on a show in Mexico teaming up with Hector Flores. WWE sending him to Lucha Magica for a special appearance, and the local promoters are looking for a hot commodity to team up with him. I don't really cross paths with Hector much when I was in WWE, but I've heard he's a good guy. And if not, well, at least it'll be some good exposure. I'll do it. All right. And the flight's on you, since, you know, I'm not getting paid for any of this. Uh, didn't know you were going to be here, too. Ah, uh, same. I had enough of you after the Apex tournament. Thought I could be look-free for a while. Don't. Call me that. Okay. Look. Gentlemen, you're going to have to learn to get along better, since you'll be teaming together tonight. What? I thought you said Hector Flores was my partner. Hector is your partner. Both of yours. It's a trios match. You know, Lucha Libre tradition. You gotta stop doing stuff like this, Tavish. I knew you'd throw a tantrum and not want to do it, which is why I didn't tell you. So I'll stop doing this stuff when you learn how to get outside of your comfort zone. Are you two done yet? I don't want to do this either, but I'm not over here crying about it with a weird old wrestler who follows me around everywhere I go. Okay, I see your point about him, but it's too late to change the match. Just put your issues aside and work together. You don't have to be best mates or anything. Deal? It will be good content for my socials, I guess. So, I'll do it. Fine. But just this one match. That's it. Hey, Hector. I was happy to be teaming with you down here. Until I found out we were also teaming with Chosen. It will be fine. I've known Chosen for a while. He can certainly rub people the wrong way, but he means well. Maybe you're right. I'm willing to give this a shot if you are, I guess. But enough about Chosen. What have you been up to lately? It's been an interesting time for me in WWE. I turned down the chance to join Los Lotharios, and they've been messing with me ever since. Ha. <laughs> Faction trouble. I had my fair share of that in WWE, too. You're better off on your own. Yeah, in this case, at least. Anyway, I'm happy to see you doing so well now. I had heard you were having a hard time after WWE. Someone said you got into a fight with Sami Zayn at a video game shoot? <sighs> yeah, that happened. But it's all in my past, and like you said, things are going well now. So let's keep the positive momentum going and get the W tonight. Sound good? Sounds good to me. I'm sorry for getting you too involved in all this. That attack was my fault. You didn't know that was going to happen. And now, this is our fight too. 
We need to get revenge. But putting Chosen's mask on the line is taking things too far. I'm not a masked luchador, but I understand how important it is. Losing your mask can destroy your career. It can tear you apart both professionally and personally. So I've made the decision to call off the match. If this is our only chance at revenge, then I'm willing to take the risk. We are doing the match. What about your image? Your social media following? Your plan to be the best in the world? You could lose everything while we have nothing at stake. It's what you would do, right? I don't know. Before you went to WWE, the answer would have been yes. I actually looked up to you back then. You? Looked up to me? Yes. You are so confident in everything you did. But then you failed in WWE. And not because management held you back. You held yourself back because you lost that belief that you could succeed in any situation. You made excuses and blamed everyone instead of just doing the work. But I'm not going to make the same mistake. I see. That's a lot to digest there. Are you sure about this, Chosen? What if we lose? I can overcome any setback. That's actually another lesson he taught me. I mean, look at how terrible things got for him. Yet, here he is. I mean, he threw everything away. Like, it got really, really bad. He was a plumber at the airport. Okay, okay, I think we get the point, but... How about we just don't lose? That works for me. All right. Let's do this. You've had some time to think about what Chosen said. Were you surprised that he looked up to you at one point? Yeah, I was. I just thought he didn't look up to anyone. But it meant a lot hearing that, and why he thought my WWE run didn't work out. I'm not sure if I agree with everything he said, but it was interesting to get that perspective. This mask versus hair thing is a huge deal in Mexico. It's actually called a lucha de apuesta, which means match with wager. Someone finally did their research. Like you said, it's a tradition that goes back a long way in Mexico, so I take it very seriously. I might have had my differences with Chosen, but he's putting so much on the line by agreeing to this. So, I'm going to do everything I can to not only get payback against Legado de Lotharios, but also protect his mask and legacy. We owe him that. Thank <laughs> you. 